Alright, and we are ready for our first run today. So let's go over to SM MIDI with Mario Kart DS All Missions. Good luck, and uh, let's go over to you. All right, hello everyone. I'm SMD. Uh, I speed on a lot of different games, uh, mainly games with no real ending uh, in a way. Uh, a lot of DS games recently as well. One of them is Mario Kart DS. Uh, this is uh, mission mode. is very very unique speed run. Um, in that it's not as consistent as uh, as some uh, some Mario Kart runs when you first get going. Uh, but hopefully today uh, it is going to go away. Now there as well, we did make the uh, the no glitches allowed logo as well beforehand. Uh, but basically, we're going to be playing through all the missions here. Uh, there are six levels, but we will unlock a seventh one. I'll get into that in a minute. Um, and yeah, we have really, really unique missions. They will, they will be very, very quick as well. Um, so we will get going with 1-1, one -one, of course. And I'll give a countdown. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Good luck. All right, so to start us off, um, essentially all of these missions are going to have um, very random goals. Uh, to start off with, we start with the first course in the game. Uh, however, we have five just numbered gates lying around and a bunch of mushrooms. So, of course, if we hit these, uh, then we will get a boost. But the main thing you're going to see at the beginning is me quitting uh, into the or into the start menu. Uh, pressing select mission, that will take me back to the mission select screen. I might not do it here because it's risky. Um, although, it, it depends. It, it's very situational. Uh, but for a marathon, it, I, uh, I might not go for it. Uh, there we go, we did get it. Excellent. Um, so every time you do that, you essentially skip the few seconds where the game is telling you what rank you got. Uh, which is important. Uh, we are actually playing on a fresh file for that reason. Because we need to get star ranks to unlock that final set of missions essentially. Uh, now we're driving backwards here which is great because we can now see the uh, the, the emblem we just uh, we just created. Uh, hitting the wall that's fine. Uh, as long as we get a star rank, uh, it doesn't have to be three stars, just one will do. Um, so we either see it at the end of every mission or we can see it on the, uh, the mission select screen as well. So there because we're driving backwards there isn't a lot of speed but basically when you're out of the pause menu you do regain control of the car. So I will hold B again just to make sure we do cross the line uh, because if we don't cross the line for uh, any of that part where it, the screen fades to black then it is not going to count. We're going to have to redo the entire mission. Uh, this is not good. <laughs> um, so here we're pretty much just collecting coins. Uh, Donkey Kong is really really slow though. His mini turbo does basically no boost. We are getting a star there. That would have been quite something if I failed that. That might have been a first. Um, the later missions do get a little bit harder, um, some much, much harder than others, but yeah, hopefully we can get through the first set of missions with no problems. Uh, here as well, this is pretty much just a standard lap, uh, that's another one from the Um, but what we're doing here is, uh, we need at least four mini turbos. Now, that comes pretty easily because of the way Mario Kart DS works. Uh, casually it might be a little bit harder, but basically we are doing this kind of snaking pattern basically even if we're turning around a, uh, a straight uh, straight path or a bend pretty much we're always going to be going for those drifts uh, that is basically me repeatedly pressing left and right on the uh, on the d-pad and oh my goodness we barely stayed on um, by doing that that charges up your drift if you get a uh, orange sparks then that is when you get your boost uh, there's no boost for the blue sparks in this game you might have noticed as well that wasn't a uh, that wasn't a racetrack. That was a giant Nintendo DS. Uh, that is a battle course, and there are lots of battle courses in here. They get a lot of love. Um, there are some racetracks that get more than one play because there are 63 missions in here, I believe, if my maths is right. <laughs> um, yeah, it's too early in the marathon for doing maths, but um, yeah, essentially uh, we have this mission here as well. We are guaranteed to get mushrooms. You might be thinking, well, wow, this this guy's getting He's getting pretty lucky on the items now, but uh, you are guaranteed to get specific items. Uh, it depends on the mission though, but there is never an item box that can give you any item. Uh, and usually they'll give you stars or mushrooms, uh, but they can give you shells. 
And then here, I'm not actually going to be doing any drifts because uh, it's really difficult to drift on this one with Peach. Uh, the, the turns where the coins are are just way too awkward. So we're just going to do a regular... Um, well, just, just trying to do use good lines, really, for that mission. Uh, and then here is our first boss. So all we need to do is hit him in the water, uh, and that is it. Now we're going to get three mushrooms from that single item box in the middle. So I'm just going to reverse backwards, do a little turn... Uh, by holding A and B at the same time, and then hopefully falls in from that. I don't think he did. That's fine, we'll do it again. Um, so this is a little bit difficult um, to actually make sure he's going in, but I'm going to give it another go. Now that is the issue with the early exit uh, glitch there. If you do miss it, then obviously you're having to redo the entire mission, which is not ideal. There we go, we did get it there. Uh, now, it does actually save a little bit more to do it on bosses than with uh, regular levels, so I will probably be going for it most of the time. But the boss we're going to see on this one, Irock, uh, is going to be a little bit harder. So I might not go for it there. So here, uh, another interesting one. We're breaking crates, but it is actually worth me doing mini turbos if I can. I'm not actually able to charge them up there, but that's fine. Um, basically, if you do a mini turbo and hit a crate, it will basically use the boost straight away. You'll go straight into the water, and that is the most optimal way of playing this mission. Hopefully we have enough speed. You do need quite a lot of speed to break the crates here. How much time does the early exit save? It saves at least a few seconds. It, it really depends how early you do it. Um, as long as we're doing it so uh, we actually do get the clear, then it's fine. Uh, and here, pretty much, it's just a troll mission. We have to drive backwards, and that's it. But again, we see the same course as we did in 2-1. Uh, you can play the um, missions in any order as well. Uh, so I can actually go down in uh, sort of anti-clockwise in the menu rather than clockwise. Um, sometimes I prefer to do that. Depends where the, uh, the hard missions are, really. Um, and again, DK, very, very slow. Uh, there are mission uh, missions. There are mushrooms here. <laughs> missions and mushrooms. This is getting difficult. Um, yeah, but again, if we miss any of these gates, we do need to do them in order. Uh, which kind of makes sense for these anyway, where uh, they're kind of in order on the course anyway. But later on it might be... Uh, it might have sort of a pattern where you can do them in a different order, uh, but you do have to do them in num uh, numerical order. Here's another coin mission as well, uh, and because it's something we've already pretty much seen, uh, any time for uh, sort of messages or donations uh, is probably around now. Alright, uh, wanted to say that if you are looking to donate, uh, be sure to type exclamation point donate in chat to get the link to our Telefy page where you can make a direct donation. We have those amazing incentives and good words for you to choose from, so be sure to get those donations in to help those incentives get met and those, uh, and influence those good words. Yeah, definitely get your donations and it would be fantastic to reach 1,000 today, so please that get really them would be in nice. if you can. It would be fantastic, wouldn't it? <laughs> Alright, so we're just finishing up on Baby Park here as well. Uh, essentially, this is three laps, uh, because Baby Park is short. Uh, in the main game, it is actually five laps. Uh, and in some other Baby Parks in Mario Kart series, it is seven. Um, Maybe even different numbers elsewhere as well that I'm not aware of. Um, but yeah, in mission mode, we're always going to see it as three. We are going to see it later on on a boss level, which maybe park on a boss level doesn't sound good. You're right, it's absolutely not. Um, but we'll get onto that later. But essentially, we were guaranteed stars there. So the moment you get a star, you just want to pop it. And then if you're playing well enough, you will just chain together a bunch of stars. So here again, uh, these are the gates I was talking about. These are kind of... Uh, important to make sure you're doing them in the numerical order. And then we're just going to pause as we go up that ramp there. Three stars, fantastic. So here is a very, very short distance we have to go. Uh, we're using Wario here, and this is kind of how you can hold items in this game. There isn't necessarily double items, but there is a mechanic of holding an item on your back. So what we can do is... I have just missed the other one. That's fine. Uh, we're just going to do a sharp turn there again. Holding A and B does that. Um, yeah, that was sure to miss. That's fine. This one's definitely going to hit, so we can do that early exit. Excellent. 
But yeah, essentially you can have two items with some of these. Uh, if they are held on your back, uh, so in the main game, things like uh, triple bananas, I believe, uh, that would work. Uh, there are lots of items that you do that for. So you kind of do have a double item thing in this game, um, but not for all of them. So for these mushrooms, I do have to use them here. Uh, and the hitbox, yeah, barely missing there. Um, I don't normally go for it there, or at least try, but I'm usually just a little bit too late for the pause. Because the hitbox on the items is very deceiving. Uh, sometimes I've managed to do that really easily before, and sometimes I've missed when I've been sure that I'm hitting the item. Um, yeah, as long as we clear the mission, really, that's all we're after. So this is Irock. Irock is a huge pain. This is this makes up like half the time save in my PB, uh, and that's not much time save. <laughs> um, I lost like a minute here because I had to redo this boss. So I'm probably not going to go for this early exit glitch, but who knows? Basically, you have to hit him in the eye. Uh, if you miss the eye, even just by a little bit, then it won't count. Excellent, that did work. And that is another thing, holding that second shell, absolutely important. We missed that first one. Uh, that is why I always do that, uh, even if it, you know, costs me a little bit of time to go out of my way there. Uh, is absolutely worth it for me. Here's Waluigi Pinball, by the way. Um, and this mission is really short, so we're not going to see a whole lot of Waluigi Pinball. The good thing is, though, we are going to see it later, again. But not the whole course. <laughs> mission mode is, uh, is a little bit quirky. So again, we have reversing here. Um, I'm using the little hops, the hops you normally use for drifting, just to turn a little bit more efficiently. Um, rather than just keep on turning without that. Uh, obviously, you're not allowed to drift backwards. That's not possible. Um, but we can still use these hops to turn uh, a little bit faster. Yes, so I am about a minute ahead on PV now. Uh, I'm in a little bit of a, a strange position with my PV because I'm, I've am i basically got no time to save. I've got like three or four minutes to save. Um, I'm about 10 minutes behind world record. Uh, missed the pause button there. I'm going to be honest. I just missed the pause button. Uh, that's fine. But yeah, still a very, very good split there. Um, the issue with this run is that if you fail one mission that has a tight requirement for a star rank, you are going to have to redo that entire mission. It can be really brutal. There is one that comes to mind that's later on, uh, which is really, really tough. I have tried to learn new strats, but honestly, the main thing with this at, at this stage is for me to just get better at the game. Uh, there are strats that I don't use in this run because mission mode... You don't necessarily have to do all the big time trial strats. Uh, oh, that's going to be difficult now. Um, so another battle course here. This isn't exactly a race course. Uh, and this ramp, yeah, uh, right on cue, is awful. Um, I might miss star rank now. There were two mistakes in there. That is a star. I am genuinely very surprised by that because I had two mistakes. <laughs> um, but yeah, essentially, there are strats I don't use. Uh, I do use snaking, but I'm not the best at it. Uh, that was kind of the main thing holding me back from running this game. Uh, after a couple of runs, uh, it, it does take its toll a little bit. Um, constantly, re uh, repeatedly pressing left and right on the D-pad. Um, but yeah, essentially, there is a strat called Prolonged Rocket Boost, or PRB, which I do, uh, or I, I can't really do that. I could try, um, but I'll probably only get it, a, you know, one time which is not going to make much of a difference at all. Definitely not a, uh, a notable difference. Uh, essentially what that is, is the boost you get at the beginning when you hold A to accelerate when 2 appears. Uh, it appears in a lot of Mario Kart games. When you do that, you have a, a boost that is a little bit more than a, a regular drift boost. So what you can do is you can actually get a mini turbo using these orange sparks and you will prolong that, uh, that higher boost. Now, this is what I'm saying with people like DK, again, right on cue. Uh, I promise I didn't plan this. <laughs> Talking about PRV when DK is on the screen. But you might notice with these little lines, it very, very faint uh, grey lines appearing whenever I do the, uh, the orange sparks. That is basically the, the length of the boost. It's basically non-existent. Um, but if you use one of the longer uh, stats, so uh, some of the parts some of them we don't actually see in this run because they aren't unlocked uh, from a fresh file but essentially if you use uh, different carts then you'll get a much different result um, we will see others early uh, later on it's not just DK uh, I'm, I'm not just bullying DK it's others as well um, 
that suffer from this. Um, but essentially, it makes it really, really hard to do PRB because uh, you just can't hold on to that uh, that speed and then chain another mini turbo close enough together. So here we are literally just sniping Monty Moles now. Uh, we can't actually drive forward. There's a stop sign over there and that's actually a barrier we can't go through. Uh, I'm probably not going to do the early exit glitch here unless I'm very confident. I'm really glad I didn't. Uh, <laughs> this is a massive pain to set up. Um, I just kind of go for the same Monty Mole that I'm comfortable with. It's really easy to get a 3 star there. You can miss like 5 shells and still get star uh, very comfortably. But yeah, it's still a really, really awkward mission. So here, this is another one where we're a little bit like artificially restricted. Uh, we're racing Yoshi here. Now we have got a star. Uh, you can get mushrooms from these item boxes on this mission. Um, but basically on every one of these bridges slash water bits, one of the areas is blocked off. Uh, now the water really pushes against you. We didn't see it there. But if you have uh, a star effect, then you won't have that happen to you. Which is kind of a nice thing about the star. You pretty much always want mushrooms, but there it does make it a little bit nicer. Uh, and then here's Baby Park again, uh, regrettably. Uh, here it is. So this boss um, is pretty bad. Uh, <laughs> basically, whenever he's further ahead, uh, he will pretty much throw you a bone and he's either going to throw Goombas at you or he's going to throw a mushroom. Um, which is great. Uh, we get mushrooms and then there's just enough time for us to go on another lap and still be able to uh, hit the mushroom, which is good. But the problem with that is now I'm ahead, he is no longer giving me the boosts. So he's just charging forward and he's now caught up with us, even though I'm playing what for me is fairly optimal. Uh, so I have to basically play perfectly to make sure I don't get, um, you know, the boss, uh, yeah, luckily we did do well there. Very good. Uh, but the boss can really screw you over there. Uh, thankfully, that did go really well. Um, we ended up really far ahead, actually. Uh, he actually hops over the uh, the little uh, shortcut, which is kind of not a shortcut in this game. Uh, that's a restart. I am not going to even attempt to get a star rank after hitting a snowman. Uh, that's just not worth it. But yeah, you can easily have to reset three or four times there. So my PB is just under 50 minutes in this game. Uh, an estimate is like an hour. Those kind of missions are why it's a little bit higher. <laughs> okay, so we're missing an item box there. That's absolutely fine. There is another one coming up. Uh, I do want to beat DK, but the star rank is actually kind of based on the time as well. I'm going to go for that one there. Three mushrooms. Excellent. Now, I've got three mushrooms. I'm going to just burn through them because I want to go up here, grab the other one. Kind of slow myself down on the snow there as well. One of these um, DK Pass missions is reverse uh, driving backwards. I haven't played much of the main game recently, so I can't actually remember which one's backwards and which one's forwards. But to be honest, both of them seem really uh, unintuitive. But yeah, going up that ramp, grabbing that uh, that item is really brutal because you can really easily just fly off the other side. Uh, so I, I like to just burn through my items and barely make it over rather than just flying over. Because if you fly over, you, meet, uh, you lose your items as well, which is just not very good. So here, this is uh, another kind of RNG-based mission. We're going to go out here because the crabs are quite far out. And we're just going to uh, snipe 20 of them. There are loads more than 20. Uh, but basically, from this point, I want to just chill on uh, one of the item boxes. So I can actually hold A and B, and that will keep me on this item box. We can get either a single, triple uh, shells, or we can get a bob -omb. bob -omb's are pretty useless. Uh, the crabs all have different like um, spots that they will always go to. So like here, there are loads together. So a bob -omb would be okay now, uh, but I'd still prefer shells. Still got quite a few to get through. Once I get down to about three left, if I get triples, then I'm just gonna go forward. Excellent, there we go. Very risky to do that early exit there because uh, again, if you fail, you're having to redo the entire mission. But because you've got spinning shells around you, uh, it's a little bit more um, consistent to know exactly where you're at. But I'd be lying if I said I've never early exited there and failed it. 
Uh, here we're just gonna thread the needle uh, between those two um, bands, or lorries I guess. Um, we are getting triple mushrooms here as well, which is fantastic. Uh, and we're using Mario this time on this course, so that's pretty good. Um, now, if we hit any of these, uh, that is pretty much gonna ruin our chance at the star rank, unless I'm playing really well. Now, believe it or not, the requirement here was to beat the red car. Uh, we overtook the red car a really long time ago. Um, but basically the game instant fails you whenever you don't meet the requirement. And I believe here as well, if you get hit by a, uh, a, um, a womp, then that also instantly fails you. Um, but that basically doesn't matter because if you get hit, you are going to lose five coins and they will randomly drop around your cart which basically ruins getting a star rank anyway. So there's basically no mission where failing from an instant DQ really matters in the speedrun. Uh, it's just kind of the same as missing a star rank. Uh, there is one later on um, in the final set of missions. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, we are a little bit behind now. We got a bit of a lucky um, kind of... We, we lose control of the cart there, but you don't lose a lot of speed. So depending on where you fail, um, that can be alright. We are going to continue it though. I feel like it, it's worth continuing that because there's a chance I still get a star rank. Rather than just instantly resetting. So here, something like PRB, uh, Prolonged Rocket Boost, will be really good because you can go on the off-road with no penalty to your speed. Uh, you literally just treat that entire course as if it's all uh, ground that you're supposed to go on. And we have Waluigi Pimble up again, of course we do. But we're still seeing the same, just the pinball section. Uh, now here I'm actually going to slow down. Uh, I think I might have been able to make that, but basically every time I do this, I end up getting hit by that pinball. Uh, so I'm just not even going to chance it. We're just going to play safe. Uh, now, the issue with playing safe is now I'm also kind of pushing not getting a star rank. So it's a fine balance on this course, but... I get hit by that pinball way too many times. Yeah, two stars is fine. Absolutely, we'll take two stars there. And we're now going to see another new type of um, of mission. So here we have fake item boxes. Uh, in one of the item boxes is a real uh, mushroom, and all the others are fake. Uh, you might be wondering, how am I able to know which one is which? Well, um, apart from when you go up to it, uh, the real one starts spinning and it has a question mark. If you look at the map on the touch screen, which we conveniently have on the layout, um, thanks to the tech team, by the way, uh, because DS is awkward. Uh, having a camera and uh, and two screens for the DS, it, it's got to be a pain. Um, but yeah, basically on the map, the fake ones are solid red and the real ones are rainbow as normal. So. Yeah, they, they do make it pretty obvious. And not just that, uh, they're always in the same position, the real and the fake item boxes. So yeah, fairly easy when you know how to, uh, how to do the mission. And here is even more punishing off-road. So what I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to burn through my three mushrooms there. Bit of a risky strat, but if I do manage to do it like I did there, um, you actually kind of get an extra mushroom boost. Um, because you don't actually get a faster speed by using all three at the same time so it seems counterintuitive but if i didn't do that then we would kind of only get three mushrooms rather than four there uh here's a really difficult strap uh so i'm gonna have to focus up for this one but basically we are going to deliberately fall in the lava lose a balloon which essentially acts as a life system and i need to stop king boo from charging in at us because if he does that he's going to take away all the coins on the map and we're going to have to chase after him to get them back. Uh, now, this is the really hard cycle. Nice, we got the boost at the start. It's not a surefire uh, victory, but <laughs> it's still pretty difficult. Oh, that's not good. Okay, yeah, this might be over. But that's okay, it's not definitely over. That is very surprising. Uh, I don't think I've ever managed to do that after missing a coin on the ro on a completely different circle. Basically, if he charges in, he takes away the coins and he has to stay on the path. But when he's doing the little animation of taking the coins away, and you are really far, uh, like over to uh, sort of towards the edge, 
then you can actually have um, him kind of go off the map. So he will very predictably go towards you, which kind of makes it easier. But also the fact that even if you have a really quick attack phase um, or King Boo attack phase, you still barely get a star rank. So it almost makes me believe that the strat we use in the speedrun is what they intended, because I don't see how it's physically possible to get a three star with getting hit by King Boo. Um, either way, fantastic split there as well. Uh, really, really good. We are moving on to the next set. Um, we have DK again here. Um, so I'm not going to be doing any hopping. Uh, it's no physics. Uh, it's just not worth it. Now, another one where it's an instant DQ, technically, if we hit a snowman, uh, that's going to fail us. But, I mean, it, if you hit a snowman and you have to pick up five coins while reversing on snow physics with a DK, good luck even clearing the mission, let alone getting a star rank. Um, okay, we're missing an item box at the beginning, but that's okay. We're just going to try and intercept the path here. Excellent. So now we're here. All of the items will go towards this same path, and I can see where we're at. That was barely in. I mean, frames. I only heard the sound. I don't think I even saw the mission complete. Um, the sound cue is all I heard. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've had a tighter uh, clear than that. <laughs> but yeah, if you look at the map there, you can see exactly where the items are. And again, that is a really good way of knowing where you're at. Doing that early exit there. So the early exits make up a huge amount of the time in this run. Uh, technically, you can do runs without doing the early exit, and then you don't have to reset your save data, but that's a lot of time you're losing out on. And to be honest, it's one of my favorite tricks uh, to have in this run. It's so simple, but like, it, it's really, really satisfying to be able to get used to it. Uh, it looks like it's kind of the trick that can be difficult, but really, it, it is really beginner friendly, honestly. It's actually easier to make a no on the bar up DS layout. Yeah, DS can be uh, pretty finicky. <laughs> Alright, we got an excellent roll there on the items, by the way. Triple mushrooms, we can just easily skip through there. If you get a single mushroom, it's a little bit difficult. Uh, you can't really make that entire grass cut with a single mushroom. But here we get a star rank, uh, a star rank, uh, a star, well, hopefully a star rank as well, um, a star item, which is okay. Uh, mushrooms will be nicer, but to just power through the uh, right plus is good as well. And doing a little early exit again. This is going considerably well, uh, much better than my practice, uh, so I'm a little bit concerned where we're going to mess this up. <laughs> we do still have the couple of missions I've been talking about uh, yet to come that can be brutal for the star requirement, but we'll see what happens when we get there. Um, it's only really once we're past the sixth level of missions when we're kind of knowing roughly what time we're going to get, because on the seventh set, once we've already locked, uh, unlocked the seventh set, we don't really need star ranks anymore. Which is a good thing, because I don't think I've ever had a single run where I've had all nine star ranks in the final level. Because those are really, really hard. You start to see, like, Rainbow Road, you start to see missions that are, like, 11 seconds long that have awful requirements uh, for a star rank. So, thankfully, we don't need those. And yet another battle course. That's bad. That's really bad. Okay. Uh, right, let me try my best to do this. Okay, no, that's a restart. <laughs> There's no way we're making it now. We've missed the coin on the top and we've missed the coin on the bottom. Yeah, so because it takes so long to go back round again, um, yeah, to be honest, I should really have reset that um, as soon as that happened. Technically speaking, you can get two on one trip up to the top there, but it's really difficult. I've never got it as intended. That was weird. I just got no height there. <laughs> okay, let's go again. Turns out this is the place where we're going to mess it up. Uh, I knew it was coming. Surprised this is the place though. Oh my goodness. Okay, we've managed to get a coin on the wrong path. That is kind of good and kind of not. Um, it's a little bit more salvageable, but I am going to have to go back and do that path again. So, don't know exactly how I'm going to do that. Right, let's just turn around here. 
Don't really have a queue. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have a queue where the coins were, so that, yeah, that just wasn't gonna work. I've never had to practice that because this is never a problem. I don't think I remember last time I had to reset once on this mission. <laughs> Here we are on the fourth attempt. But yeah, any, uh, any messages or donations while I keep on retrying is a good idea now. Alright, uh, I just want to take a look at uh, the next bit where that, uh, well, bit where that's coming up soonest, and that is going to be the uh, character choice in the next run, uh, Nippon Marathon, and uh, the choices of, for that are uh, Darwin, Elizabeth Nishiburi, Zenbei, and uh, Suguru Maestro, and only, uh, well, and Suguru Maestro is currently ahead in that by $20. So that is for the next run, so you don't have that much time to uh, get donations and to decide what that uh, one's going to end up being. No, I'm not even going to play that mission out. <laughs> that is not working. Okay, so this is one of the few missions where um, that I was talking about where it is really difficult. Um, in no small part because the game throws the Bowser uh, cart combo at you. Um, you don't get to choose the cart combos if it wasn't already clear um, in mission mode, which is kind of unusual for a speedrun. Um, I mean... That kind of explains why we're using such bad combos sometimes. Uh, you'd never see these anywhere else, um, truly, because this is why. Um, but yeah, essentially, I did mess up earlier. I then had a ridiculous backup. Normally, I would actually hop over the wall like I just did. And this is where it messed me up because I, had, I hit that uh, lava bubble because I was on a really weird cycle. Uh, that is what messed me up. This should be an easy star rank, though. Uh, but because we're having to do an entire extra uh, lap of that course, that was a really, really long mission to fail. Had incredibly cursed luck with that game. Yeah, thankfully here we don't have to deal with as much of a luck element because um, the item boxes are mostly uh, rigged to give us what... Uh, or not necessarily what we want, but at least they don't give us uh, garbage all the time. Uh, now, interesting thing with this boss, he can hit himself. Um, a lot of the time. Uh, it, it's not even a rare thing. It's pretty much like every other run. Uh, that is a clear though, uh, and we are straight through there. Yeah, basically on that second cycle he can just hold on to the bob bomb and it will just explode. I don't know why. Uh, it just does happen, and yeah, unfortunately we didn't get it there. He can throw a bob bomb at you though as an extra attack phase, so we didn't get that at least. Here, uh, this mission's literally just reversing backwards on this log. Uh, I don't know why I struggled with this so much as a kid. Uh, I just could not get used to reversing. Here, I just want to pause as soon as I get to that edge there, because once you're fully off, that's when you, uh, you get the clear. And this is another really brutal requirement, so I'm going to focus up again. So these rocky wrenches really don't stay out of the ground for very long at all. They also move as soon as you have, um, that was close. Uh, this is bad now though. There we go, I know this one's just popped up because I looked at the map. Hopefully that's a star. Three stars. I genuinely can never call that mission. Sometimes you get a B rank, sometimes you get a three star. It's all based on the time it took, um, I'm fairly sure, but yeah. Uh, thankfully, we're getting out of there first try, which is... It can be pretty rare for me. Oh, no, that's bad. Okay. I'm gonna have to go for another drift now, which I don't like going for there. Um, just to try and make up lost time. Really, really uh, low control of the car up here because of the sand, so it took me ages to reverse there. We might still be fine. Oh, no. No, we're not now. A rank, yeah, we'll go again. <laughs> but yeah, 30 coins on a uh, on a mission where drifting is pretty difficult to do. We don't technically need to do any drifting. It took me a really long time to actually get comfortable with drifting on this 
uh, on this mission to actually start doing it in runs. And you can probably see why. The mud here as well, I'm basically not moving cart at all. This is just too difficult. There we go. Excellent. Letting go of accelerate very early there as well for that line, uh, final line of three coins. Because you just keep so much of your speed from the uh, weird terrain on that course. Anyway, here's Sky Garden. Honestly, one of the best tracks in the game. One of my favourites. Um, we are going to keep a mushroom, uh, just so I can do, do this cut. You can use that rainbow ramp, uh, but really, to me at least, it's a little bit faster to do that one. Because if you do the rainbow one, you've then got to go round the long way. So there is only one item box on all of these parts. It always gives you a triple mushroom, which is quite nice. Uh, they could easily have said, here's a single mushroom, or a star, for this course, and it would have been awful. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, pretty good. Um, and then here's another fairly difficult one. This is probably the main mission that comes to mind when I think RNG uh, being annoying. Because, again, we can either get a star, sing, uh, no, a star or triple mushrooms. I don't think we can get single mushrooms. You do want a star at some point, uh, kind of coming through this area, because if you get a star, you can then instantly use it and then get another item, which can kind of give you a, uh, uh, mushrooms from there. Excellent, we got that star. Now I want mushrooms. Uh, I'm being greedy here. Um, okay, we got another star, that's fine. We did get mushrooms earlier, to be fair. Uh, in practice, I was getting awful luck here. I was basically getting four out of four stars, and that's fine. You can get a star rank like that, but it is uh, very possible to fail star rank, or at least make it harder for yourself, unless you're playing really well, um, which I'm a bit hit or miss on that course, so getting good RNG is nice. So here's TikTok clock, except we're actually dealing with the clock. Uh, there are 40 coins here, so... What I'm basically trying to do is whenever the hands are away from me or not anywhere close to me, uh, I am going to be going towards the middle. A little bit risky to do it here, uh, but basically if I go, if I'm in the middle and I get hit, then there are no real, um, or there are iframes while you're in the animation of getting hit. But in terms of being in the center, as soon as your animation is done, you can get hit again. So because the hands, because of physics, don't take very long to turn in the center, uh, or they, they will stay in the center on you for a lot longer than if you're sort of on the edge, you can get hit like loads of times in a row, and it's just a nightmare, uh, and you will keep losing coins every single time, which is funny, but we don't want it to happen here in the speedrun. Now, here's my only strat I've learned for this run. Ah, oh, nice, we got it. So that is the little hop there. Um, it's the first time I've got it in a run, actually. Um, basically, uh, I'm scraping around for time saves in this scale now, and that's basically the only one that I think I'm comfortable with doing. Uh, but that is the first time I've got that in the run. Very nice. Uh, cuts that corner there. It is a streamless cut as well, which is nice because there's no items here. And not just that, we need to do 14 mini turbos, which is fine for us as speedrunners. Um, casually, this is a brutal mission, though. Excellent. I think I just pressed restart, but you do still get the clear there. Uh, so we are able to just quit to the mission select and that will give us the clear. Excellent. All right, next one, 10 item boxes again. Uh, this is a very, very long one, two minutes on the clock. Now I'm gonna focus a little bit because I can very easily lose track of where I'm at on this one. Uh, this is another battle course. Uh, let's get up, there we go. Um, so basically, Every single item box has a different set path. So some of them will stay on the same colored block. Uh, some of them will change blocks uh, on the top path or the bottom path. So basically I'm just getting a couple from each one and then changing and just seeing which I can grab because I'm basically always on a different cycle. So there's, we've grabbed the one that goes uh, on the long path there. So that's quite good. Uh, I'm actually going to go the reverse way just to catch this one up, hopefully. There we go can be some strange paths sometimes to kind of predict. Technically, there's no predicting needed here, though, because it's all uh, cycle-based, really. So it's just me having a skill issue. That's what I'm saying. That's the technical term. 
Okay, I actually did go for a pause there, but again, really risky if I miss it because it means the pain of having to redo that mission. <laughs> And then here's Chief Chili. Now this is a complete redo of the uh, the big bully boss, except we need to hit him in three times now. Uh, this one, in a way, is a little bit easier because he charges at you a little bit more. So we're going to do that. We're going to instantly reverse, and because he's kind of knocked us back, we can get that reverse going straight away. This one, he's going to try and hit us. Uh, he's going to try and jump over us. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to pause... We're going to get him in, and we're going to skip the credits by doing that one. Uh, that one saves a lot of time. Uh, I'm actually playing on a 3DS, so if I miss that, technically, I believe I'm allowed to go to the home menu and reboot the game. So we don't have to sit for a several minute long credits cutscene just yet. Um, but, essentially, that would lose time compared to a DS, I'm fairly sure, because the home menu is really, 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 really slow. <laughs> Um, and the DS, uh, Vanilla DS, uh, is a lot faster to just reboot the game. Thankfully, we didn't need it there, though. Uh, barely staying on the course there, uh, Rainbow Road being a little bit of a nightmare there, almost. Uh, we need six mini turbos here, so even if I wanted to play safe, we do still need six mini turbos, otherwise you will fail. But, as I was mentioning earlier, uh, we do not need star ranks anymore. Uh, we are just zooming through, uh, clearing all these missions. That is absolutely fine. We did still get two stars. Uh, but even then, I played fairly well there and did quite a lot of mini turbos. So you can see how these missions get a lot harder. So here, this is another one where we're uh, going to have to take out a bunch of these Goombas. Uh, we need to take out 30 this time. Uh, and the items are very, very fixed here. Basically, oh my goodness, stop getting hit. Um, basically, we're always going to get triple greens. But if you already have triple greens, or at least part of them remaining, like I do now, uh, you're going to get a single green. So we can still use it, uh, we can still throw it out, uh, but basically I just want to chill on the item box now I've taken out all the ones that are up the top, and I'm just going to make sure I take out the top ones as well, just to make my life a little bit easier. There we go, we could even get some rebounds here, I've had some really funky rebounds on this, uh, on this mission before. go. Nice, that was two very good snipes. And just three left, so we're just going to charge in with these shells. And now, and that should clear. Excellent. Three stars, very good. Another very, very long mission there. If I do well there, that's basically the only big time save in this final set of missions because of that uh, no star rank thing I was talking about. Now here is the only mission I've never ran managed to three star, and you can probably see why. It's a pain. Clearing it with 0.316 remaining. I've done that with 1.1 seconds left before by doing drifts. Those gates are so close together, yet somehow you can do drifts there, and it's still slow. Uh, I still only got two stars. I think I got two stars once, and one star a handful of times. Uh, it's really, really brutal. Every other mission in the game, even the difficult ones like Rainbow Road, I have eventually managed to three star. I've still never managed that. Thankfully, we don't need to. And then here's another one, which is technically an instant DQ. If we fail it, uh, we need to not get hit by these lava bars. There we go. Very good. We're seeing a lot of reverse missions as well. We get to see that logo a lot of times. So quite a long mission coming up here. This is another fake item box one. So we see most of the course because they're quite spread out. Now, these bananas, uh, they are randomly scattered around for whatever reason. Uh, then, oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to restart because we don't need star rank. Um, that is going to be pretty uh, frustrating if we uh, if we fail based on the time requirement here. That would be brutal. Uh, I expect that won't happen unless I make another big mistake like that. But yeah, if you get hit by a banana, uh, again, it's kind of like getting hit by the puddles in that other course earlier. Uh, you just kind of lose control and that's it, really. Um, you do still keep some of your speed. So it can be okay. It's better than most items in this game. If you play uh, regular 32 tracks or uh, generally play casually, you'll know how uh, some of the items can be a little bit brutal in this game. A rank. There you go. A rank again. Uh, I, I promise I've never had a run get 
nine out of nine stars on this final set. Um, hopefully that's become a little bit more uh, obvious now, uh, why that is. So this is the only coin I can't backtrack for. Uh, all the rest I technically can. I can probably backtrack two times and barely make the time requirement here. The time is the only thing that can stop us from clearing here. Oh, barely made that coin there. I've gone a little bit slow, so we're not going to try and risk it with these, um, these fire bar cycles. We're just going to wait for them. You have to be pretty fast to uh, outdo that there. And then we are going straight into that coin. That's a good clear. Very good. Three missions to go. So we have absolutely stormed through this. They are fairly long, though. This is the only one in the game that's two laps, as far as I'm aware. There is Baby Park, which is three, but Baby Park is a short map, so that gets a pass. But uh, TikTok Clock, for some reason, they put two laps in here. Um, and also a fairly tight time requirement. Uh, I normally end with about 10 seconds left on this. Give or take. And I believe they made the, uh, the cogs here a little bit faster. Uh, why? I have no idea. Uh, they just did. Gonna grab this item. Very good. And then the final mission we are going to see is a three lap race against Wiggler. We get pretty interesting. Also, fun fact, I haven't actually mentioned it yet. Uh, the bosses in this game, you might be wondering, they seem pretty familiar. Uh, but some of them seem a little bit, um, you know, different, like Goon Boss. Uh, you might be thinking this game, right? Uh, well, you'd be absolutely right. Uh, the bosses in this game came from Super Mario 64 and Super Mario 64 DS. Um, so some of them might seem familiar, some not. Finishing up there, excellent. But yeah, Goon Boss in, uh, in Super Mario 64 is pretty quick, uh, as far as I'm aware, if you just cheese him. Um, but in this game, is uh, pretty brutal. So here is another mission that I was talking about where you can technically fail by the requirement uh, if you're a little bit unlucky. So the timer, you might notice on this one, and a lot of missions where we're racing someone, the timer is counting up like a regular race. Uh, whereas on some of the missions it is uh, it's ticking down against you. Uh, we actually have to take a slower path here. Uh, the top one is blocked. I don't know why. <laughs> I just blocked it off here. Um, so if I fail to beat Bowser, that is an instant DQ. Hopefully we'll be fine here. Though we are getting quite a lot of stars, which isn't ideal. But we should still be getting it clear. Oh, barely hopping over there. So you can actually uh, hop way before you get to that finish line because the finish line stretches out all the way along. So you can still clear that and then um, it count as crossing the finish line. Uh, but it really does save enough time for me to warrant going for. And then here's Wiggler. So Wiggler, uh, as you can probably tell, uh, Wiggler is pretty fast. Uh, this is difficult uh, in a racing game for him to be this fast. Uh, now, he didn't take the shortcut there. He is going to take a shortcut later. I'm not going to take any shortcuts, though. Uh, but that is because I am training together a bunch of stars. All these stars are all on the path here. Um, however, what you might also notice is a lot of these lorries, uh, these larger like vehicles, they have mushrooms in them. Uh, they are always single mushrooms. Uh, yeah, not taking that shortcut again because I want to grab this star, chain those together. So some of them don't, some of them do. Uh, and the way the patterns work, sometimes you actually get two back to back. So there you go. That is those two. And then we can still grab this star here. I'm gonna save it there just a little bit. But again, you can look at the map and see exactly which ones have mushrooms underneath them. Without knowing this, it's really, really difficult to clear this one. Uh, time is going to come up, by the way, on the uh, finish line. So in about 5 to 10 seconds time. Oh, no. Uh, okay, let's just grab the star. Recover ourselves. So yeah, time's coming up on the finish line. Not long to go. And that is time. GG. Uh, that is unexpected. That is a three second PB. <laughs> nice. I was 31 behind. I don't know where that time save came from because that is, that's a five second gold. So I, <laughs> I thought that Very wasn't nice. going to happen. Um, 
Well, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> um, also puts the marathon a little bit ahead. Um, but yeah, fantastic. Um, so yeah, uh, shout outs, I guess. Uh, if you want to get into this game, uh, there is a Discord just for Mario Kart DS. Um, so it's really, really cool. Uh, go join there. Uh, there's a really, really active community over there. Um, and yeah, uh, I, I do a lot of all missions runs. I don't necessarily do a lot of 32 tracks because the issue with that is I have to unlock the carts, uh, or the, um, the tracks, sorry, the cups, um, for me to play those. Uh, whereas here, uh, because I have to reset the save data, that's why I have to unlock them. So I haven't done a 32 tracks run in a while, but maybe I should. Uh, it's been a little while. Um, but yeah, really, really happy with that run. Uh, other games I play, uh, we do some kind of Wii series, uh, a lot of Wii play lately. That's kind of the games I play where there's no real ending. Um, the games where you kind of think, how do you even speak on that game kind of game? Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, just want to... Uh, hand back to uh, to our host. Uh, thanks so much for having me, and yeah, enjoy the rest of the marathon. It's been fantastic. Great. Well, thanks so much for doing that run, and congrats again on that uh, TV. All right, thank you. That was Mario Kart DS All Missions by S7 Midi. So coming up next is going to be uh, Steep TV Online with the uh, on Marathon Full Marathon mini games on No Turbo. Uh, we still have that uh, character choice since uh, bid war for that. I believe that uh, yeah, it's still. We have Snuguru Maestro in uh, well, leading that by uh, $20, but that's the next run, so this is your last chance to try and change that. But this is well, just another reminder that what we are here raising funds for is Go Rescue. Uh, the Go Rescue website has its own sec uh, section for adoption success stories, so uh, while I get set up for this next run, please go check out gorescuedogs.com slash success stories for some adorable pictures and heartwarming tales. And this is No Holidays Allowed 2023, presented by No Glitches Allowed. This event's open to all kinds of speedruns and showcases that runners have to offer, not just glitchless runs. We're looking forward to showing off some amazing speedruns to watch as you bundle up by the campfire this winter.
So coming up next is going to be the one marathon uh, being run by Deep TV Online, full marathon, mini games on no turbo, and uh, uh, the next couple runs after that. Just another uh, reminder, we do have a uh, character choice bid war open for the this next run that's going to be uh, starting the next couple of minutes. Uh, character choice between uh, Jay Darwin, Elizabeth Nishiburi, Zembe, and uh, Snuguru Maestro, and it is Snuguru Maestro who is uh, currently leading that bid war by Twenty dollars. So, yeah, uh, that run is starting very soon. So, if you want to gauge the result of that, uh, now's the time to donate for it. Those donations are going to go rescue. It's a wonderful uh, cause. Uh, Helping out the uh, dogs that need rescue at uh, you actually can in addition to uh, putting your donations towards a bid war also put them towards the uh, it's other incentives that we have open including uh, true any percent in uh, SpongeBob SquarePants coming up later, that only needs five more dollars to be met. And in Payday 3, final level upgrade to Overkill, that needs another $50. We are raising money for Go Rescue, a dog shelter in Norfolk, Virginia. They work to provide a haven for homeless dogs, giving them the time, care, and love they need to find not just any home, but the right home. <laughs> 